Well, I just, I just want to thank everyone uh, that has come together uh, on the Ugandan Bible Project. On, on Update that us mission. on that. <laughs> and uh, I've told the men that they're excited. Um, they've come to me ever since day one as their pastor, saying, Pastor, Pastor, we need Bibles. Can you get us Bibles? And, and at first, I was, I was just giving them just the New Testaments with Psalms and Proverbs that we get in English, and they, they were so just thrilled to have that. And then God began to uh, bring full Bibles that, that I was able to give out to them. And then one day, God put it on my heart. He said, it would be great to get them some Bibles in Swahili. Uh, and they asked me, they're like, can you, get us, can you get us these Bibles? And I said, guys, I just, you know, I don't know. You know, this is, that's, pretty, that's a pretty tall order, but I'm sure that, that God will make a way for this to happen. And so we began to pray, and we began to to seek the Lord about it, and then, just out of the blue, connection started to be made. Divine contact started to happen, and you're a part of that. John Hogan, a part of that, and um, and, and now uh, they're on their way. Uh, and actually, they're they're in Baghdad right now. Uh, somehow, the enemy tried to get them hung up there, and there was a threat they were going to get shipped back to the states, and and all of that. We prayed, and um, they're going to be picked up in a couple of days. God raised someone up right there in Baghdad that's going to go, a, a Christian colonel that's stationed there in Baghdad, and he's going to go and get the Bibles, and we're going to have those as soon as I get back from R&R, &R, and we're going to give those out to the Ugandan men. Buona.